State that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthal developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Prove that it worked. That logic is post hoc ergo propter hoc. <laughs> no, I'm not sassing you in Eskimo talk. <laughs> I'm gonna go let Penny know we're back. But mother, I have to go. Yeah, love you. Bye. Hello, old friend. <sighs> Daddy's home. Leonard, you're back. Yeah, I just stopped by to say... <laughs> You're wrong. Wolverine was not born with bone claws. Howard, you know me to be a very smart man. Don't you think if I were wrong, I'd know it? <laughs> okay, first of all... Give it up, dude. You're arguing with a crazy person. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> hey, guys. What are you doing here? What do you mean? It's new comic book night. Yeah, but since you and Penny finally hooked up, we thought you two would be having bouncy, naked, yum-yum night. Sheldon, dinner's here. Tandoori Palace. No, we went somewhere new. <laughs> You're good-naturedly ribbing me, aren't you? Now look, Mumbai Palace. Why? Why would we change? We had a perfectly good palace. Tandoori Palace is our palace. <laughs> Trust me, this will be you and Leonard had a disappointing sexual encounter. Well, earlier this evening, Leonard characterized it as just fine. So what you're seeing here is a continuation of the mocking that followed. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, I'm just gonna go eat my dinner elsewhere. Maybe an airplane headed for a mountainside. It's a penny. Wait. Uh, what is wrong with you? I sense I may have crossed some sort of line. <laughs> yeah, you... Uh, don't tell him. Let's see if he can figure it out. <laughs> theory which posits the existence of an infinite number of Sheldons and an infinite number of universes, I assure you that none of them am I dancing. Are you fun in any of them? The math would suggest that in a few I'm a clown made of candy. You know what? I give up. He's impossible. I can't be impossible. I exist. I believe what you meant to say is, I give up. He's improbable. Sheldon, you really need to find a better way of dealing with Penny. What am I supposed to do? Eat French toast on a Monday? Now that would be impossible. <laughs> I'm just saying you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. You can catch even more flies with manure. What's your point? <laughs> it's a... Oh. Boy, that does smell good. Too bad it's Monday. Kim, the night manager, went on maternity leave, and her husband's name is Sandy, right? So get this. Her replacement is a woman named Sandy whose husband's name is Kim. <laughs> wow. I know. What are the odds? Oh. Easily calculable. We begin by identifying the set of married couples with unisex names. We then eliminate those unqualified for restaurant work, you know, the aged, the imprisoned, and the limbless, for example. Next, we look at the set Sheldon. of people with... It's an amazing coincidence. Can we leave it at that? I'm sorry. Oh, Penny. It's as if the Cheesecake Factory is run by witches. <laughs> anyway, I got some extra money from the head of the department, and Raj can come work for me. You want me to work with you? For me. You're going to have to listen more carefully when you're on the job. Okay, uh, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'd rather swim buck naked across the Ganges with a paper cut on my Check nipple. Then <laughs> you leave me no choice. I accept the job. I'm sorry. I believe you've misunderstood. I'm not giving you the job. I'm simply affording you the opportunity to apply for it. Have a seat. We'll get started with the interview. What? You're kidding. Please. All right. 
So. <laughs> That's what you wear to an interview? Come on, dude, we've been friends for years. Oh, pulling strings, are we? <laughs> Sheldon, for God's sakes, don't make me beg. Bazinga. <laughs> Victim to another one of my classic practical jokes. <laughs> I'm your boss now. You may want to laugh at that. You can't possibly win. Sheldon, don't ruin the game. How could he ruin the game? Given the cards that have already been played, Penny can only be holding necromancer potions, which are only effective against wraiths and daywalkers, and there are no more of either left to be drawn. The cards remaining in the undrawn stack are four fire weapons, a troll, two ogres, and the jewel of Osiris. See? Ruined. <laughs> Sheldon, that is incredible. From your vantage point, it certainly must seem so. Sheldon has kind of a photographic memory. <laughs> Fine. I really appreciate this. Yeah, yeah. All right, Poindexter, sit down, shut up, and listen. I'm sorry? When are you going to stop making Cylon toast? When I have enough to destroy all the human toast on the battle star known as Galactica. Is that what you're wearing to watch football at Penny's? Huh. Seems like an awful lot of trouble to go through for intercourse. Don't you have access to women who will do it for money? <laughs> Leonard, when that woman moved in three years ago, I told you not to talk to her, and now look, we're gonna be late for the movies. You're making Sheldon cry! I'll tell you what's making Sheldon cry! That I let you name him Sheldon! <laughs> Boy, what got him so upset? No, sure, you can tell when Sheldon's upset. Oh, thank you very much. Come back soon. Get the other half of my tip. Hey, Sheldon, what are you doing here? This is a restaurant. It's lunchtime. I would think as a waitress she'd be familiar with the paradigm. Is Leonard coming? Where half sandwich come from? Are you giving me half of someone else's sandwich? Or do I have to wait for someone else in the restaurant to order the other half? No, no, Sheldon, they just make a half sandwich. You can't make a half sandwich. If it's not half of a whole sandwich, it's just a small sandwich. Okay, fine. It's soup and a small sandwich. Is that what you want? No, of course not. I'll have my usual. Great. But aren't you going to ask me if I want a beverage? Don't you usually get lemonade? Yes. You want lemonade? Yes. Anything else? Yes, I want you to apologize to lemonade. I am not going to apologize. I've done nothing wrong. He is completely overreacting. Irrelevant. The disruption in your relationship is making my life intolerable. Well, I'm sorry, Sheldon, but this really isn't about you.